Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, somebody asked me earlier today about loading uh, the MPC software into a DAW. So let's say if I open up Fruity Loops from 64 version and I go to MPC and I just drag it right here. Okay. See, it's just going to give me one it's just going to give me one channel. Um, I haven't messed with it too much, but you know, you can still play in it and access all your stuff. Okay. Does show up in Fruity Loops, which is pretty cool because there's all kinds of effects and stuff that Fruity Loops, you know, provides that I use, you know, quite a bit. But you know, if I want to record a clap, that clap's not going to go into this MPC track. Or if I were to even explode, you know, one sequence. If I explode that, it's just gonna explode it in here. It's not gonna, it's not gonna say MPC kick and this and that and that like Pro Tools would, you know, if you export it out or if you were to export this, you know, it's different. But, you know, if you were to export this as a program and, um, put it into Pro Tools, yeah, it would split it up onto all the different tracks and everything. But as far as opening up the plugin in a different, you know, operating system like Fruity Loops, that's what I ran into. And, you know, I would just import them on here as a project, drop it in, and then, you know, it's drag and drop too, so it's pretty fast. I really don't use that too much. Now, let's get out of Fru uh, Fruity Loops here. I open up VIP software. Okay. Open up the VIP software. Dude, there's so much stuff that you can do here. Um, it's just tempting to stop and just play something. It's ridiculous. Everything maps out here with what's on the keyboard. This is the plugin I'm using. I mean, I was really considering buying a synth, and I find myself playing with all these different synths that I have on the, on, on, you know, on the computer here, and. Man, it's just hard to pick between a hardware synth and a software synth because I don't really want to get tired of the sounds. You know, I love different sounds. I love stacking sounds. And this program just lets you do it, man. Take a sound from there and different instruments, you know, different plugins. Let's go to Loom. You want keys, guitars. Let's grab a guitar. There's one right here. Just gonna put it right there. You know. And then you got a nice sound. I'm just holding down on one key. And I'm going into my MPC on an audio track in the background here. This way I can go in and see what my vocals look like. That's why I'm not so quiet on the video anymore. So, let me know how that comes out. Hopefully I'm nice and loud. That sound right there.
man, that is just crazy. Anyway, uh, if I can figure out how to go back now. Man, that shook me up. That was really... I'm not really too familiar on how to use this software. So my best bet is to close it out and just open it back up. <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do is pull the MPC software up in this VIP. Let's see. This one I had the live, so the live still installed here, which is cool. See, and I click here. Fruity Loops opens. Alright. So now I hit this. See what it did? Gave me 20 tracks all separated. And to be honest, no. It's not giving me that, uh, it's not giving me that as an option. This is just the basic setup that's stock for right now. But what I would have to do, I thought, man, it just opened up 20 tracks, but no, it doesn't do that. You have to drag the MPC in. Unless it's a program that you exported, it'll come out like this with all your tracks labeled real nice. You'll be able to see them all. Um, I guess I I should I can't I haven't done that, so I should export a program into here, and it should split up into all these different tracks. But I'm not gonna do that right now. Right now, I'm just opening this up in different things. So there you go. It opens up here, but again. All this stuff right here, you know, then you got to go to your plugin settings and route your MIDI and if you open up your MPC software, you go to your plugins, okay, it's got it all. Right here. I can go to Fruity Loops right here. I can go to, you know, if I want to use something from VIP. I want to open up VIP, I click on it, and I open it. Okay. So now I have this. So if I want to use any of these sounds on my MPCX, <laughs> I can do that, and with the you know program edit and all that. Um, no, I don't have it in, in computer mode. If I had it in controller mode, I'd be able to control those knobs and everything. But I'm not doing that right now. Okay, so we open up VIP. And now I can run as many VIP instances as I want in different tracks. I can go to track two and open up another VIP and stack a bunch of sounds. I can run as many as I want. What happens if you open up... What happens if you open up Fruity Loops? And just... just that. See what happens. It should give me the same option. It should let me open as many instances of Fruity Loops as I want. There it is. It popped up. There it is. I'm going to put this one at 1. And we're going to go to a new track. And we're going to 
ada nomor keluarnya PSD same one no this program's already running or you can't do this because it's being used by another thing or you know it's just you know but it's gonna take a second to load up track one okay track two see zero <laughs> you can't see that all right let's let's leave that there okay and for track one Let's open this one. See, there's nothing there. That's two different instances of Shorty Loops open in one one sequence, one track. So my preference, if you're gonna go into any other, you know, Fruity Loops, if you're going into Cubase with an MPCX. I mean, you can always go, you know, eight lines out from the back of the X into, you know, like the, the recording Digio or an, any, an interface that has eight ends, or you can export it as a project or, yeah, I haven't figured that part out yet, but there's different options to export it. So as soon as I do that, I mean, I know it'll split it up in a nice tracks so and I've done it in Pro Tools before, so. I know it'll do it on this. But yeah, man, just just thought I would throw that out there. Um, any other questions or anything, feel free. I mean, I'm still learning too, so anything that you guys ask me gives me a chance to learn too, so I do appreciate it.